Hello everyone, on this video I will install Firepower Thread Defense on a VMware ESXi host. Uh, the previous video I have installed the Firepower Management Center, so we already have that. This video will be about installing the Firepower Thread Defense only, because it will be a bit too long for both, but the next one will be um, Attaching dev to the, to the FMC and the initial registration on my network. Okay, so let's start again. Software from Cisco download the FTDV VMware install package um, that is already installed on my already downloaded on my device. So we choose create register virtual machine deploy a virtual machine from OVF or OVA uh, go to the folder choose all the files it will select the correct ones FTD uh, well we can change the name later for now FTD would work uh, the ESXi storage, license, agree, next, uh, network mapping is very important. Uh, what we want is the management to be in the management network, diagnostics as well, and then the rest we'll figure out later on in other videos this will be just for the installation right now uh, next do not refresh okay uh, we'll give it some time and maybe in the meantime we can take a look at the network um, what we want I have a drawing here of the network I have. I know it's not the prettiest one, but uh, this is my ISP coming to, to my ASA device, Cisco ASA, um, on it. And this also is a Catalyst 2960. So, turn port, all the VLANs, what I want is my website to be in VLAN 7 and I would have a DMZ. Uh, the FTD uh, will be, well, DSA has all the VLANs, the Catalyst has all the VLANs and there's the virtual switch on the server. What I want is uh, from the trunk on the ASA, traffic goes to the trunk on the catalyst switch and from there, from another port of course, it enters the V-switch. Here on the V-switch, uh, it is again a trunk, so my web site on my Linux machine will be in VLAN Seven. and the FTD one of the FTD interfaces will be also in VLAN 7 which will be the gateway actually for uh, for the website Let's take a look this is ready and it has begun the installation so we'll leave it be and get back to our drawing so from the vSwitch virtual machine ubuntu website it will go to the ftd and from the ftd it will go back to this virtual switch which will be then in VLAN 8 will be our DMZ VLAN. DMZ VLAN 
will be the outside interface on the FTD going to the V switch, from the V switch to the catalyst, from the catalyst to the SA and then out. So this way the traffic coming from the ISP will go through the SA, through my network towards the virtual FTD. Once it hits the FTD, it will uh, then go to the website. Let's call it the web server. Um, and that's the plan. Once I do that, I will start the web server so I will have a little bit, a little peace of mind that I have some security layer 7, layer 3 from the SA, uh, botnet detection and uh, prevention for DOS and DDoS attacks here, as well as layer 7 uh, and intrusion prevention malware on the FTD device. That the management will be uh, in another virtual switch with the FMC. And that's, that's the whole idea. Let's see what we'll do. Well, we'll do it. Okay. Here is the Firepower uh, login. Uh, after the installation, um, admin is the username, admin with capital A123 is the password. This is the same as on the Firepower Management Center and the Firepower Threat Defense. This will uh, run us through the same setup as the Firepower Management Center. Uh, the new password. Okay, I made a mistake, but. Do you want to continue configuring IPv4? Yes. IPv6? No. IPv4 manually. Enter is the default, is the manual. Uh, usually 4545 is the management uh, interface, but uh, for my network is .10, so I'll give it an address .15, my FNC is the .14. Uh, subnet mask is 24, and we'll change the gateway .10.1. Fully qualified domain name uh, ftd dot my -E uh, DNS servers uh, two twelve two twelve dot thirty two dot ninety dot forty thirty nine Times of 42, eight, 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 eight. Uh, if you're not sure for yours, just choose uh, Google's one, which is the 4.8. Um, we'll go with the default here. And um, this should do. Now, most likely, yes, we'll manage the device uh, locally. No, 
if we choose locally, we would manage the device through firepower defense management device manager manager F FDM firepower device manager but we want to manage it through firepower management center so we'll choose no to the locally manage and we'll have to give uh, the FMC address here So it asks us for the mode, we want it to be routed, so we'll click enter as it's the default one. Uh, we'll log in to the FMC. So we can add the FTD, FTD, here you can see it even gives you a quick uh, information of how to uh, connect the firepower threat defense to the firepower management center. Uh, the command is configure manager at uh, we'll put in the IP address and we need the registration key uh, from the FMC uh, we'll go to devices device management we'll choose at device Host is 192.168.10.15. Uh, display name will be FTD. Uh, FTD. Registration key, what we need, uh, we'll use just something random. access control policy okay vocal traffic in the end default action uh, Here we'll choose all the licenses. We don't have unique unique NAT ID, so that's it. Now it will start looking for our FTD. Uh, we'll add in the registration key and hit enter. Now they should find each other. We'll see. Let me see what's the networking. They should be in one uh, network, FMC, FTD. Yeah. So they should manager successfully configured. Please make note of the registration key. And uh, we should see pretty soon the FTD device here. Registration started. Re registration of the FTD. Uh, that's pretty much it for the basic uh, 
installation of the firepower threat defense and uh, adding it to the firepower management center. So let's take a look. Yeah, there it is. Um, we can check the licenses. Uh, we should have all the licenses, base, malware, threat, URL filtering. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see each other on the next one.